accept the view of economics as being a set of rules around which seven billion people's future lifetimes are organized. If you do, it seems important that economists should have a particular type of profile, an open mindset, one which seeks out diversity, inclusion, integration. Interested in transparently mapping economics, indeed what futures are possible for humans to co-create. We recommend looking at how the word entrepreneur first came into your mother tongue. Entrepreneur is a French word. It was first used around 1800. It refers to the challenges that the peoples face when their nation's economy has come to a dead end because a small number of people were monopolizing all the productive assets. A diary of the innovation challenges faced by entrepreneurs has been maintained for 170 years. It is called The Economist. Why is the 2010s turning out to be an extraordinary time for more and more people to need to take back their nation's economy? Answers are to be found in two surveys written in The Economist in the early 1970s. Specifically, the next 40 years written in 1972 and Entrepreneurial Revolution written in 1976. The hypothesis of these surveys is that the net generation will face the greatest simultaneous and worldwide innovation challenges ever known to our human race. The 1972 survey, the next 40 years, catalogues decisions economists had made during the 20th century which would be unsustainable as peoples became more connected than separated. The 1976 survey boldly goes where no economist had been before. It discusses how the biggest organization typologies of the 20th century, be they corporate, government or non-government, are non-sustainable as far as the net generation are concerned. It went on to say that the most exciting challenge ever faced would be how to innovate these organization typologies. If you do decide to read these surveys, it is important to take a non-partisan view. This is essential to discussing how to reform economies and was laid down by the founder of the economist James Wilson in 1843 and was confirmed by such classic works as Keynes's general theory in the 1930s. Norman McRae Foundation is searching for partners in the curriculum of economics for 11 year olds. We believe that one starting point will be to complete the sentence, economies go wrong when. We suggest that top of this list will be when political parties and vested interests fight over economic truths instead of designing, mediating debates in which all of the peoples, especially youth, have an equal voice. Postscript, may I observe that internationalist Scots have a special reason for diarising entrepreneurship. Just after 1700, Scotland lost its economy with over half of the people's money being lost in an international banking scam. The consequence was that England took over Scotland in the so-called United Kingdom. In the next
next hundred and fifty years Scots found that the policies out of London were unsustainable for them in terms of productive lifetimes. History shows that over half of Scots had to emigrate and become one of the first diaspora nations sailing the seven seas and trying to make a living all over the world. Include this perspective when you read the writings of Adam Smith from 1758, you will find different sorts of clues in the reasoning of economics than if you fail to include this perspective. Father died in 2010. His obituary writers called him the economist's unacknowledged giant and a rational optimist. However, I was surprised at how little they understood the amount of compound risk data that he used to analyse. 